Richardson Independent School District operates on a five-year bond cycle for capital expenditures. Bonds are a resource available to school districts to furnish and equip school buildings and programs. Voters must approve bond packages as a financing tool for capital construction projects and other items or equipment with a useful life of more than one year. In 2016, Richardson voters approved a $437 million bond package. Bond 2016 provided the funds for capital maintenance, such as repairing and replacing roofs, floors, playground equipment, and HVAC systems. Bond 2016 also provided one-to-one -one computer devices for all students and teachers, technology equipment, safety and security equipment, and additional career and technology instructional materials. Thanks to RISD voters, Bond 2016 accommodated student growth by constructing 24 classrooms at Lake Highlands High School, 21 classrooms at Richardson High School, and 6 new classrooms at Mark Twain Elementary, Northwood Hills Elementary, and Yale Elementary. Renovations took place at Aiken Elementary, Big Springs Elementary, Yale Elementary, Prestonwood Elementary, and White Rock Elementary. Passage of Bond 2016 took RISD's largest underutilized classrooms, libraries, and transformed them into adaptable, flexible, and collaborative learning environments at both the elementary and secondary levels. Multi-purpose activity centers, one at each high school, allow students in fine arts and 17 varsity sports to practice, rehearse, strength, and condition in a safe, secure, covered, versatile, and ventilated environment. No more missed practices due to bad weather or another student group occupying the court, field, or stage. Planning is critical to ensure that current and future RISD students have the resources they need. In preparation for Bond 2021, a 50-member Bond Steering Committee analyzed facility assessments, enrollment projections, financial and other data relevant in creating and maintaining learning environments that align with the district's mission, vision, and goals. The Bond Steering Committee represented a diverse cross-section of RISD taxpayers, community leaders, parents, business owners, and senior citizens all with the goal of putting together a community-driven bond package that will provide resources for every school across the district. And the committee developed a recommendation that would not increase the current property tax rate. After meeting throughout the fall of 2020, the committee provided facility, equipment, and infrastructure recommendations to the Board of Trustees on January 11, 2021. This is something that we spent months going over and over and over to make sure that the recommendation that we're providing tonight is representative of all members of that committee. The bond package totals $750 million and consists of two propositions. Proposition A for $694 million is for capital construction, infrastructure, repairs, buses, safety and security, and equipment. Proposition B is for $56 million for student and staff technology devices. $694 million is proposed for school construction, including more classroom space to accommodate enrollment growth, renovations of older buildings in poor condition, and projects to address physical safety issues at two schools. Categories and examples of anticipated projects include $286 million for infrastructure and safety, this includes items such as roofing, HVAC, flooring, maintenance, furniture, security, and school buses. $269 million for construction and renovation. This includes phase one of our middle school transformation. Plans include rebuilding Lake Highlands Junior High and renovating Forest Meadow Junior High. Anticipated projects in the construction and renovation category are additions for growth at Mohawk Elementary, Brentfield Elementary, and Pierce High School, the final of four high school renovations. Anticipated renovations for student safety are planned at Brentfield Elementary and Hamilton Park Pace Center Magnet. 
Anticipated renovations to address facility condition are planned for Northridge Elementary and Stolt Road Elementary Schools. 139 million would go to the teaching and student support category. Examples of projects include instructional materials, digital teaching applications, digital network equipment and enterprise applications. Career and technical education would receive instructional and curriculum materials. Fine arts would receive instruments, equipment, and uniforms. Athletics would also receive uniforms. Proposition B totals 56 million and includes computer devices such as Chromebooks, iPads, and laptops for students, teachers, and staff. Bond 2021 would lay the groundwork for the district to transform junior high schools into true middle schools by moving sixth grade out of elementary campuses and into schools housing grades six, seven, and eight. More than 95% of Texas school districts already utilize this middle school model and the change will provide RASC sixth graders additional academic and co-curricular opportunities. It will also free up space in elementary schools, opening the path for full implementation of RISC's Pre-K for All initiative. The Lake Highlands Learning Community would be the first to transition to the new middle school model. Due to the facility condition assessment, Lake Highlands Junior High would be rebuilt. Forest Meadow Junior High would be renovated, transforming both campuses into RISD's first middle schools. Proposed by the Bond Steering Committee, Bond 2021 would be the first phase of a long-range facilities vision that would extend to the 2026 Bond to complete middle school transformations across all of RISD's attendance areas. RISD's facilities condition assessment has helped prioritize which of RISD's aging campuses could be renovated first. Did you know that the average age of RISC school buildings is almost 53 years old? Most of RISC's schools were built between 1952 and 1980. Long-range renovation and replacement efforts could extend through the 2036 bond. Bond 2021 would also provide equipment for RISD schools, departments, and programs. Some items, like security cameras and defibrillators, have a direct impact of safety, while other items, such as instructional materials, science lab upgrades, and athletic uniforms, have a direct impact on the academic and extracurricular courses that students take. Due to new legislation, certain projects, like technology devices, must be separated into different propositions on the ballot. Proposition A for $694 million is for capital construction, infrastructure, repairs, and equipment. The second proposition for $56 million is for student and staff technology devices. Due to a new state law, every bond proposition in Texas must include the following statement on the ballot even when there is no tax rate increase as a result of passage of the bond. Under state law, this statement must appear on the ballot. Bond 2021 would touch every campus, all, without an increase to the district property tax rate. Because of its excellent track record of financial management, RISD maintained an underlying AAA rating from Moody's Investors Service and a AA plus rating from Standard & Poor's. Only a few other Texas school districts have this combination of high underlying bond ratings, allowing RISD a very favorable interest rate on bond sales while lowering the costs of issuance. Please visit the Bond 2021 website at www.rasd.org slash bond2021. The website has more information about all the categories, projects by school, answers to frequently asked questions, and voting information. Please join me in voting on May 1st.